little bit of salt. Time to enjoy. Que pasa familia? Bienvenue à l'épisode 3 des Grill Bros. Et en passant, on voulait commencer par vous dire qu'on est fièrement canadien. So if you're looking for the subtitles for the right language, make sure you select them on the bottom, que ce soit le français ou l'anglais, y incluyendo el espagnol. Now, Grill Father, what are we grilling today? All right, well, today we're going to be cooking some innards or achuras. We got a nice piece of mocheja, which is the gizzard, a lead bow in French. Uh, our cut comes from the area near the heart. There's, you can also get it from the part next to the throat. And we're going to be also finishing up with some chinchulines. It's the thin part of the intestine right after the stomach. Sounds like a plan, man. Drink some Canadian beer? Yes. Salud. Thought you'd never ask. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here we've got today's speciality, one of my personal favorites. We've got mocheca, uh, gizzard or riz de veau in French, and we've got some chinchulines, the thin intestine right after the stomach. So we're going to be uh, cleaning these. There's not much to clean with the, uh, with the gizzard. Uh, we'll just let it marinate a little bit in some lemon. Not too long though. The uh, chinchulines, however, we can put in lemon overnight uh, to let it soak up all that delicious flavor and uh, nothing will happen to them. The gizzard on the other hand, if you leave it, it'll disintegrate. The lemon will, will eat it completely and you'll have nothing left to eat for yourself. Right out of the pack, we'll just chuck it in a bowl. These two recipes call for a lot of lemon and uh, since they're a little bit pricey here, we're gonna go with a whole bunch of real lemon juice <laughs> <laughs> to completely submerge them and let them marinate, and then we'll put some some real lemon for the final touch of flavor when we're about to eat them. You were saying these ones you don't uh, put lemon too much in advance, right? You uh... exactly the uh, the gizzard you want to let it marinate maybe an hour or so, not more than that, uh, before you throw them on the grill, because uh, what happens is these are very fatty, uh, they're organs and they're very fatty and the lemon breaks down the fat, so you don't want to end up throwing these on the grill and uh, pulling off nothing. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the chinchulines, the thin intestine. These ones require a little bit more, more effort and prep than the, uh, the gizzards. Worth the effort though. Oh yeah. So we'll start by removing as much fat as possible, but without tearing the intestine. So we want to keep this and remove this. So this is where I need a little bit of help. So we'll get uh, Bad Chico here to grab one end. So it's better when you got an extra pair of hands, or at least one extra hand. And we'll just run the knife right on the edge of the fat. Alright, let's go. go that one. So now, once the chinchulin, once we removed all the fat, we're gonna go ahead and open up some warm water. Open up the chinchulin and fill it up with water. And this is why, as I was saying, you wanna try not to cut through the meat, because it's like a hose. You don't want it leaking. Oh, see we got a we got a tiny hole, but it's uh, it's manageable. <laughs> You want to give them a real thorough cleaning. And then now when we're going to take out the water, you want to grab and, and pull or push up whatever water's in there. That'll give them a good cleaning. At the same time, I'm giving it a decent amount of pressure here. So we're also massaging and breaking up the, the fiber so they come, believe it or not, a lot more tender. You see? The water starts coming Running out clear. Chinchulina is ready. Nice and clean. All right. Now, uh, once they're clean, <clears throat> you don't want to make them too short because these will shrivel up a lot. Uh, think of it as uh, almost like bacon. It cooks almost exactly like bacon. So we're gonna leave, want pieces of about uh, ten inches or so. Use a knife or just rip them off and put these to marinate in the lemon. Like you said, usually you do this overnight. Yeah, it's always best to do this the night before because when you got uh, people coming over and making a big barbecue, you don't want to be doing this while everybody's waiting for you, having fun. You want to be out there at the same time. 
even though you're at the grill, you're still having a good time. So you do this the night before, and then you're just set to throw them on the grill. Anything else you add to uh, the lime juice? No, no, just not that. right now. When we uh, when we hit the grill, we'll throw a little bit of salt. All right, so now that we've had our uh, mochejas and chinchulines marinating for about an hour or so and some lemon juice, we're gonna throw these onto the grill. We'll start with the uh, gizzards. We'll throw them all the way at the back. And they're gonna be on there for a while. Now this you want the, uh, the grill as low as possible and the fire as strong as possible. These we're gonna give it a max count of five with your hand over the, over the heat before it starts to burn. You want these cooking extra crispy. And then we'll go over to the chinchulines, the intestines. And you want to spread these across the grill because they're going to shrink and you don't want you don't want to lose any of these bad boys. Now for our semi-coarse salt, give everything a nice salting. They're getting all nice and toasty. How are those manejas doing in the back? It should be at the same stage. So we flip these over, we'll flip those over. All right, so now that uh, the chinchus have this I'd say golden brown, but it's better than golden brown. <laughs> Color to them. We'll move them all over. Over here where we've got no heat. Keep them on the side. And they'll be ready to, to be eaten soon. All right, so now we'll move over to the mochejas. Now, these are obviously thicker, so to get that nice crispy deliciousness on the inside or all around, we're gonna wanna Butterfly them. A little bit of mariposa here. Cut them in half. Now we're gonna salt and lemon this side also, but now since it's so nice and white and juicy, we'll flip it over and, and get it toasting. Salt and lemon we'll add later. Yeah, some people like them juicy, but obviously, as you can tell by the knife, they don't juicy. like that juiciness. You're gonna have to do this. Because there is a difference between deliciously charred and burnt on the outside. You want that delicious chart all around. No burnt. All right, so the chinchu have cooled down just a little bit, enough to eat and enjoy. <laughs> Scoop them out, spread them out. Look crispy, man. Oh yeah, listen to that. That means they're crispy. <laughs> they do sound crispy. <laughs> Throw a little bit of lemon. Woohoo! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. A little bit of salt. Now this you don't want to oversalt because it's going directly into the mouth. So there's no, that rule of oversalting won't happen, will happen in this case. But we're ready to go. Comelo. <laughs> Thank you.
the two bags just disappeared in two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so the mochejas are just about done. They've got this crispy and delicious look all around. They're good to go. Time to enjoy. Yes. So that was episode number three, and it was delicious. Stay tuned for the seafood special, grandfather. <laughs> Don't forget to enjoy.